I can remember that day like it was yesterday. Morning. David was born, and like any parent would go, you went to the nursery and you looked through the window at your new little boy. And he was laying there, and I noticed the doctor doing some a few things with him. Didn't seem like he did that on the last boy. And the doctor came out and said, your son has Down syndrome. I thought life was over and that we would have this burden on us for the rest of our life. And boy, was I wrong. 27-year-old <laughs> David Seville isn't a burden. He's a revelation. This is his seventh season as a Clemson Equipment Manager, and to those in the program, he is a fixture and a friend. What's up with you, bro? Nothing much, man. What you getting into? Doesn't miss a day. I mean, he is there every single day, takes unbelievable pride in his job, and he's a part of our team. He's just got the sweetest spirit. Coach Sweeney is my man. I keep him in, in line. Coach Sweeney said that you like to repeat something that he says. Be, be, be only disability and the life is a bad attitude. David was born March 2nd, 1990 with Down syndrome, a genetic disorder resulting in intellectual disabilities and physical challenges. And I can remember holding David in my arms that first week. And I looked down at him and I said, David, you have Down syndrome. And you probably don't know what that is, but you're gonna be the best Down syndrome kid in the country. And today we're gonna to start on that. David, the middle son of three boys, became an Eagle Scout, manager of the Norcross Georgia High School State Championship team, and homecoming king. We hoped that he would live on his own one day, but we were just taking it a day at a time and a year at a time. I just never had dreamed about college, so that didn't wasn't even in the picture. But one day, my wife walked in and said, I heard about this program at Clemson called Clemson Life. The Clemson Life program, uh, learning is for everyone. And I'll never forget uh, meeting David Seville. And he came in on like a school visit. I just remember him coming up to me and telling me, you know, he was gonna work for me. Sweeney couldn't say no. If he did, he'd have to answer to his former Alabama coach, Gene Stallings, and to a memory. Here on an 800-acre ranch in a speck of an East Texas town is where Stallings lives and where his 46-year-old son, John Mark, is buried. My life wouldn't have been nearly as rich if it wasn't for the fact that I had the privilege of raising a child that had special needs. Johnny was just a part of the program. He was just, he was my son. He came to practice when he, all the players were kind to Johnny because he's kind to all the players. Second down and seven. You see the fake over the middle, wide open, Dabo Sweeney. Sweeney was one of those Bama players and later an assistant on Stallings staff. He always took a little time to visit with Johnny. I remember that. He understands the struggles of some of these children with special needs and he's gonna make a place for him. For me to have a seven year front row seat uh, daily and to see the love that Coach Stallings displayed for his son and their relationship and how close they were. Johnny was there every day. I was so impacted watching Coach and how he impacted Johnny's life. Let's have another good practice today. Now, nearly a decade after John Mark's death, the connection is unmistakable. From Stallings and a son to Sweeney and a Seville. When you see David every day, you see love. And I don't care what your problem is, where you came from, what your background is, what your beliefs are. Man, love conquers all. David owns a diploma from Clemson, and thanks to the Tigers' win against Stallings' old team, he also owns a national championship ring. 27 years later, I think about David 
And I think, would I change this if he was born again? And I think, absolutely not. Here he is, just changing lives every day. He doesn't even know it. He's not even trying. It's just who he is.